Hello, and welcome back to Age of Wonders 3. We're finally taking the fight to the computer. Uh, we have to be a little bit careful here because they have... Well, I say we have to be a little bit careful, and then I'm not going to be careful. I'm just going to rush in. <laughs> but they have... Well, we have a bunch of shamans. They might have actually sent a stack underground here. I don't know. We're in this area. They also have a tier 4 unit because they got the Paragon... Uh, quest a while ago, so they might in fact be summoning these things like every couple of turns. They might be summoning a new horn god. Now, as far as this goes, this is all really weak stuff. Uh, we are far superior to what they have here. So again, uh, we can we can just rush in. So let's. Well. Take a look. What do you got in this area? Okay, well, there's you. You're still only level four. A shaman. Yeah, you don't have. Oh, hello. King Shock Serpent. Ah, you're the Paragon. Okay. So what Paragon does is it gives it Resurgence and then these various bonuses, uh, 10 health, 1 defense, 1 resistance. So this is going to be a super tough unit to kill. Uh, resurgence means that at the end of the battle, as long as as long as long Julia wins the battle, this thing will revive from the dead. So to, to, so to actually properly kill this thing, we have to win a battle against it. Uh, which makes this really nasty. But that's actually a little bit of comfort for me, seeing that this is a Shock Serpent, because that means that... Her Paragon. Okay, yeah, 100 casting points. I just wanted to check that real quick while I was thinking about it. Her Paragon was from... Uh, not a board. We're going to open. The Summon Gargantuum Animal. She got a lucky roll and summoned a Tier 4 unit with the spell instead of with a Tier 3. Uh, instead of the Tier 3 version that we summoned when we cast it. So that's how she got... Her ultimate unit. I'm oh, sorry, her tier 4 unit right away. However, with the Summoned Horned God, we're going to be able to just to consistently summon tier 4 units. Now, this does take a little bit longer, but she might not have this researched yet. So we might actually not be as far behind as I thought. Now, she does have 100 casting points, which makes a big difference. She can cast twice as much as we can. Uh, I wonder, actually, now that I'm thinking about this. If I go in here... Negotiate. If I do this, can I? No, okay. Unless she actually has that much mana, but I, I, I highly doubt it. Okay. Okay, so that's what you have. You have a Shock Serpent, a King Shock Serpent. Suddenly I'm a lot less keen about just running in here. Griffin Rider's a bit of a pain. Trebuchet is, eh, it's alright. Ours are better. We have a few shamans. Uh, it's going to be nasty. I mean, we could clear this. This wouldn't be an issue. But this, uh, this is looking pretty nasty, honestly. Uh, if I had, if I had my, my better forces all uh, linked together, it wouldn't be. It would be fine. But this is actually a relatively weak force on my on my part. So I guess what we're actually going to do. is run this way and try to clear out any troops that she might have sent into my territory. So this is now going to be playing a defensive action. Okay, well that kind of sucked the momentum out of everything. I could kill this, but then I'd be very close to this, and I don't know if she would take that fight, but I don't want to take that fight. Again, I mean, we've got a pretty awesome shaman here ourselves. Uh, these hunters are not, not all that good, honestly. Um, I mean, they'll be better than her, her longbowmen. Well, actually, that, that, that might not even be true. The, the Elven Longbowmen have no range penalty. Whereas the Goblin Hunters do. Alright, so I guess if we're going this way... Oh, hello. Okay, well, let's pick this off. Yeah, Elven Hunters also get the Longbow. Uh, okay, well, we're gonna steal the... berries. Get our movement back. And then we're gonna go all the way over here. Get that vision. Okay, there's your griffins. 
So you have you have some missing shamans that, that are unaccounted for still. And we definitely want to keep this griffin alive because. Oh. Fine. Well, now we're going to be scattered because of you. Why are you so slow? I mean, you fly, which is nice. But... Uh, I guess this is a... The big vulnerability having us in a, a quadrilateral like that. You want to be... You really want to be in a triangle. When you're in a quadrilateral... Uh, they can hit one of the two... Like, if, if you look at if this is a quadrilateral... Uh, attacking the middle portions is not advisable, but attacking one of the edge pieces will only have three of the four stacks while in the fight. So that can cause problems for sure. Alright, well... Yeah, that's what I figured. We're safe here. I mean, we could just charge. We could just charge it and entangle, and it's a, it's a great sword. So I mean, it would probably be effective. And now in melee, yeah, we we do pretty well, all things considered. We'll move into range and defend, so it has to come to us. Yeah, I mean, the Spearman... Spearman can come for us, but... Uh, okay, we have we have First Strike. So, it's funny, they've got the pull arm, but we've got the First Strike, so they charge us and then we negate their charge. Uh, they're still pretty nasty against Cavalry, though, honestly. Uh, my hero's defense is high enough that the uh, hero does all right. Uh, we don't have any healers in this group, do we? No, because we don't have a blight. Because uh, we don't have a shaman. If we're playing a theocrat, then our blight doctors will learn healing. Again, I've said it before, but the developers of this game did a fantastic job of making all of the classes feel distinct from one another, while still more or less following the same core uh, gameplay stuff. Javelin. Sure, war cry. Oh, we got first strike, okay. Two? You didn't even use your war cry? You chose poorly. Well, I deliberately did that from out of range, because I would like the fairy to get the experience. It's obscene. You're slow, but. You definitely help. All right. Well, okay, well, you can't. So we're just gonna attack. There. We can. Fifty percent chance of net, and if we fail, uh, you hit pretty hard, but we just won't fail. Darn it. <laughs> that was that was that was not the best strategy for that situation, honestly. Um. We still have a range penalty. Uh, in that case, we might as well just go up here. Oh, we can we can step there. These aren't walls. I thought they were. Okay. Well, now if you attack us, we go poorly for you. Even more so. Uh, oh, you're out of movement because you retaliated a whole bunch of times. Okay. Uh, experience for the Griffin, I guess. There's nobody else here that I really want to give the experience to. We've already got you up to elite. You up to elite, you're up to elite. Um, bear? Uh, I mean, if you get elite, you get fear strike. Okay, we'll give it to the bear, just, uh... Just to have it up to elite. A hundred health, yeah, this thing... I mean, it is a tier three unit normally, so it's... It's it's pretty nasty. Uh, what does fear strike do exactly? Melee attacks from this unit have a chance to panic their targets. Panic games don't obey, uh, they just run away, blah blah blah. And so it's a low chance, but it is a chance, so... Let's 
that's uh oh you got another impaler. Uh Alright, well We'll hit you with all the negatives. So now Oh wow this thing's defense is actually pretty decent. I mean yeah our warlord is leading it, so that helps, but I should attack him. Ah yeah, we'll um, we'll wall off just in case. Is there anybody left? No, I think we're done. Okay. War cry. Okay, I mean you hit us for some damage. All right. Yeah, we're out of movement here, oh, which is unfortunate because if we had... Well, I mean, we could take this fight, but then we're really spread out. I think we're going to have to actually just sit tight. Okay, five points. Is there anything in particular? Oh, Tireless is really good. No attack points, or no action points are spent on retaliation or attacks of opportunity. Uh, so one of the, the balancing things in this game, uh, you want tier three and tier four units, because they're just so much better than tier 1 and tier 2 units on a one-on-one -on -one basis. However, your upkeep costs are much more expensive and they only get three actions per turn, same as a tier 1 unit. And because of the way flanking mechanics work and the fact that you can drain uh, your enemy's movement points by, force by forcing them to retaliate, you can actually overwhelm tier 3 and tier 4 units with large numbers of tier 1 units if you know what you're doing. And that's, in particular, the AI in auto combat, that's the kind of thing that they're really good at. So in manual play, if you're good, or even just in auto combat, having large numbers of low tier units will generally win against higher tier units, assuming that the, the numbers are stacked enough in your favor. Tireless is an exception to that, where now no matter how hard, no, how, how many times you're surrounded, if you have tireless and a decent defense stat. What are they gonna do? You can just um, you you can just retaliate forever for forever. Okay, interesting. Wall climbing. I didn't realize that warlords could learn that. I thought that was a rogue thing. I guess the rogue is the leadership one, where your entire party learns wall climbing. It's probably the difference. Oh uh, yeah, Fleet Command, not terribly interested. Charge Command is kind of neat, but we already have Charge on our, our hero, and we have other cavalry in here that also already have Charge by default. Uh, I don't really like Blood Honor, but it is a buff. Uh, so we're saving one skill point, so we have four skill points to spend, because we're getting Tireless on level 10. Absolutely. So with four skill points, uh, Monster Slayer might not be bad. We are against a Druid. Yeah, charge command. Just it's not it's not good with these units. Uh, armor piercing is an option. Uh, bonus against armored units. Uh, that's more for like dreadnoughts and warlords, which we're not actually fighting. Uh, overwhelm. Plus three against pikemen and shielded units. Uh, it's it's war cry. Just give yourself plus three for a turn. I mean that's just a straight plus three bonus. That's probably the best of the options, honestly. So I guess we'll go Monster Slayer and Warcry. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly check a few things here. Ah, uh, you're an animal, not a monster. Okay, that's unfortunate. Oh, and we can't see... Uh, what is it? Okay, well we can't see it anymore, but we can check it up here. Uh, so our units. Uh, search, or we can just scroll down to K for King. Uh, oops, where is it? King Shock Serpent. You're a monster, right? Oh no, you're an animal. Okay, never mind. Uh, no on the monster slayer. That is definitely not not a worthwhile uh, use of our our skill points. Uh, oh right, you've got a bunch of stuff here. Level up. Hmm. Okay, in that case, a uh, giant slayer will help against the the horned god, but hopefully we don't. It doesn't come to that. So this warlord will not do particularly well against that on his own. Uh, overwhelm. 
Yes, we take Warcry and Overwhelm. Frost Protection's not the best here. Blood Honor is just a small morale boost. Armor Piercing. Okay, uh, who do you have who's armored? Uh, okay. My Elf Cavalry are armored. The Hunter won't be. Yeah, Hunter is not armored. Um, Shaman won't be either. But armored, it'll help against swordsmen and um, cavalry, and possibly even against pikemen uh, for the elves. So maybe we'll take armor piercing after all. And I don't, I don't usually have this much trouble deciding on my level ups. Not overwhelm. Well, okay, it definitely helps against pikemen. Oh no, no, that's shielded, not armored. Uh, what am I thinking? Armor piercing. Well, armor piercing is just plus two. You know what? Let's just get defense and health. This is this is the smarter option. Defense and health. Okay. Uh, and do we even want Warcry? I mean, it's nice. If we take defense and health and resistance... No, we're gonna go health, defense, defense. That's what we're gonna do. Get that defense value up. Okay, well, yeah, I really don't want the fairy here, and because of the year out of movement as well, um, I guess we're just done this party. Okay, uh, you. Some unhappy frostlings. And... I guess we've explored all of this at this point. I guess we can finally grab that gold. Uh, okay, alright, there's this issue. So we got unlucky. We could have had a tier 4 serpent with that summon, I'm pretty sure. Uh, see, now I'm torn. I really want to just charge, uh, charge the rogue uh, while the rogue is weak. But I think I'm going to backtrack enough to clear this. Well, this isn't even my city, actually. This is a, this is a vassal. Um, okay, never mind. Yeah, we're just going to ignore this for now. We're just going to run... Uh, we're going to charge the the rogue while while we've won that victory. Uh, okay, so I need to be careful here um, because I want to. I mean, I could probably clear this on the way. Honestly, I'm not going to. I'm going to take the road because I know they have a city up here somewhere. Uh, oh well, they have, they have a city up here. But we're gonna we're gonna take that road. We're just gonna go. So I want you for sure to hit this because your movement speed is really slow. You're gonna be slowing the army down significantly. Who else is relatively slow? Uh, nobody. Uh, nobody in particular. Okay. In that case, we're gonna group you like this. This is six. And yeah. Okay. Go, go, go. Yeah, they have a city there, surrounded by rock. I guess we're gonna go up this way then. Uh, I do have... I do have big beetles, which have tunneling, so I can actually just go through the rock. That's one of the... One of the goblin advantages is that you get access to tunneling units. Goblins and dwarves. Alright, well, we're gonna... Yeah, I guess we're gonna go around this way and conquer that city. Uh, you... We were a little bit worried that they might be coming here, but if they are, we don't really have... Well, this is like all our best cities, though. And at this point... Okay, you're actually going to sit here. Because you're... Uh, we're we're going to be building up an army uh, in this area. Right, this is going to be mass-producing shamans, I believe. And... Uh, big beetles, for whatever reason, I decided I wanted those. Okay, uh, we're just going to... Take uh, an unnecessary step there. 
pretend that that is scouting, and then we're going to continue with our exploration here. Okay, and that's it for this turn. So we definitely want to be paying attention to what's going on over here. Here. Oh yeah, no, I am casting a spell. I, was like, I had a moment of panic there. I was like, wait a minute, I'm not spending all of my, my casting points. But uh, no, we're fine, we're fine. Wait. Okay, there's your shaman stack. Now we have we have hunters. One of the advantages, a hunters in the ferry. We have people that can swim. Which means I think we can actually initiate a battle here without... Um, without having a penalty. Okay, uh, I need to double check. I w well, oh, nice. Now we got a knowledge uh, research breakthrough. Excellent. Okay. Uh, oh, right. This is this is just the first tower. Okay. 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 That's fine. Yeah, because she doesn't. So yeah, our happiness now, enemy owns a unity beacon tower. That's fine. We had the Heptatopia, so even if she builds a second one or someone else builds one, uh, that'll be fine. But we haven't heard anything about their... Um, their the happiness of anybody... Or sorry, the... Um, word. Oh, did we just get Heptatopia? I thought we had that before. What am I thinking of? Oh, no, no, no. I was thinking of the one where um, we had enough cities to get the, th the free your three units. Um, but yeah, no words. Wait, what was I trying to say? Just slow down and get the words out. Uh, okay, uh, racial governance. That's what it is. The racial governance. We haven't seen a notification for anybody else having enough, ha uh, enough high enough level of racial governance to build a tower. Um, Julia with elves is the only the only option. That and us with goblins. So we don't have to worry about any other towers anytime soon. Uh, research breakthrough. Okay, forty-eight knowledge. Excellent. A good little city. All right. Be the first to acquire seven towns. That is us. That goblin growth bonus is coming through for us. That and our our settler spam, I suppose. All right, so with 48 free, uh, 48 free research points, well, you can see there's no turn counter at all on Vengeful Frost, because we started researching that already. So what we're going to do is we're just going to research that, because that's not going to take a turn. And then we still have 23 points left. 23 puts us up to... We're, we're just shy of getting that in one turn. And what was our new combat spell? Revitalize? Unit's abilities are taken off cooldown, and 50% of its movement is restored. Okay, that's kind of neat. Uh, honestly, I should be dumping the rest of this into seafaring, because I would like to... I would not. I don't want to spend a turn on seafaring, but I would like to get this researched, because... Uh, well, it's also our, our cheapest tech at this point, so that also kind of makes sense. But instead of Vengeful Frost, it was a mistake. I should have been going for basic seafaring, because this will lead up to logistics eventually. Which will give us faster road movement, which will be really nice. Uh, so I guess this 23 points we're going to dump into seafaring. Okay, we've done that. So we need 37 more. And then we go with druidry because none of this is looking amazing. If this gave us animal slayer, that would be better. Although our hunters, I think, have that automatically. So uh, it does help against horn gods, but... Magic, Domain of Corruption. Uh, if we wanted more evil points, that would be one way to do it. More growth. No, we just need more casting points, so we'll do that. Item has arrived. Inventory. Uh, okay, Shock Protection. That'll help against the King Serpent, I guess. And you have Strong Will, so you're not going to be scared of fighting it. Distance is always good. Uh, you didn't move this army at all, which is a questionable decision on your part. But anyway, let's go through all this stuff. We founded a new city, a new outpost here. Uh, we took the thing that makes it so we don't hit, we don't hate volcanic terrain, so we're actually decently happy here. Decent income, even. Well, build this all first, because otherwise it takes forever to build anything.
Okay, uh, none of these lead to new structures, do they? No, they do not. Okay. Yeah, so the Haunted Vault gives us Wraith, but we don't need that for Wraith King. And obviously we're going to be going for Wraith Kings. Now, we could go for the, the Mausoleum and get the Titans, which give us a, a producing... the ability to produce Tier 4 units. I'm not that interested, though. Uh, let's go Unit... Oh, I have to actually hit Enter. Okay, Wraith King is you. Oh, it won't tell me? You're a support. Right, I thought you were a monster, but you're not. But you are a support, which means that you get the, the bonuses that we have for support, which is mostly increased, I think, plus 8 movement. So you'd have 44 movement. You'd also have lifesteal, which helps you to heal yourself, which is important for an undead. Physical resistance. Oh yeah, physical protection, light protection. You're pretty good against a druid, honestly. Uh, and against a rogue, for that matter. Although by the time we're producing you, we might, we might be done with both of those. But anyway, Throne of Bone it is. The, the Titan, technically a, a stronger unit in terms of tier, but I, it doesn't impress me as much. Once we get this done, we can rush it. Just to get things done quickly. Uh, we'll take a happiness hit here, and it'll cost a whole bunch of extra money, but it doesn't really matter. It would be nice to start producing units. This is going to take a while. Uh, we'll see how much... It'll depend on how much other money we've spent. Alright, up to 65. Um, yeah, we'll get this. Pillar of Stylites, and then we're going to go Barracks, War Hall... Guard Hall, and then we're going to produce Butchers here. This will give them the Spirit Melee Channel, which will be really nice against the Necromancer, ultimately. Okay, we finished a Dolmen here. Good, so now we can actually produce our Druid units, the Hunter and the Shaman. And yes, we just we need to start producing, producing a military, so we're going to be producing a Shaman here every two turns. Uh, we need 50, 62, 162 production. I don't think we're going to get one turn shamans. Uh, here, yeah, we don't have, we don't have the money to spare to um, to rush the the wraith mausoleum thing. I'm a vassal under my protection. I would like that, except for the fact that it would make me good, which would be a happiness hit until I gain 25 more evil points. So we're just going to wait on that, even if we had the money, um, which we will eventually. Oh, um, one other thing. We need 27 more... We need 27 research points. Where can we find 27 research points? Seek knowledge, that's 18, that's not enough. How about you guys? 26, not enough. Ugh. The reason we need 27... Okay, well, it's... Oh, we, we can't even do research here because we don't have a laboratory. Uh, so that we can one-turn our next upgrade here. Hmm. Can't... Yeah, because I haven't been building laboratories everywhere. Which, honestly, I should still be building laboratories. Okay, well... I think we're going to interrupt something. What about our capital? Does our capital... 28. Ah, uh, but if I do this, I can't... I can't do this without cancelling the beetle command, which is only one turn off from finishing. Uh, okay, so I guess what we're going to do then... We're not actually going to start researching this. We're going to research something else. And then we'll get this in one turn on the following turn. Okay, so what would you like? Uh, we could take Favorite Enemy, which gives us... Situational bonuses, but better than nothing. Uh, we could take this, just so that we... Have it, I guess? The ability to spend mana on evil, but we'd rather be summoning. Like, it's a silly use of mana. I mean, all of these are. Uh, 
Uh, would it turn into storm magic? This is just a passive ability. It would be nice to have. Percent direct damage. Combat spells, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll put a turn into storm magic, that's what we'll do. Alright, well since uh, I'm just talking about needing more research, let's actually put our money where our mouth is and actually start with that. Okay, work outpost, build housing, let's get this thing growing so that we can get the uh, five mana, yeah. This thing's pretty awful, we'll need to convert that. I'm just going to take a turn, again. Unfortunate, but it's just how things work. All right, well we're gonna go here, and we are going to. Ooh, fire node's gonna be a little bit nasty, actually. But okay, no mercy. There we go. Those are the evil points we needed. Finally, how long has it been since we've had the the ability to do that? I think that more people would be afraid of us attacking them with so many people. Uh, are you doing anything? No? So I don't know why it zoomed in so much. Okay, so we're gonna immolate once per turn. Uh, Hellhounds are not that bad. Nightmare is not that bad. Uh, although it is an unholy champion, so it does more damage to animals, as I recall. Uh, okay, we need to... Well, we need to actually go fairly aggressively. You have first strike, don't you? Why do I think you have first strike? You do not. I swear, I play this game. I remember things. There are a lot of units, and units have a lot of abilities in my defense. So... <laughs> that animal slayer. Yeah, we're just doing that, because by doing damage to them, I think that's going to trigger them to attack us. I mean... We can steal the immolation, and that will... give us experience points. <laughs> Not really much point. Um... Yeah, okay, you can move out of the way. You can move here. There, you need... You need some healing. Okay. Uh, likewise, you have the ability to heal. That's some really nice defense. Nobody here is injured. Okay, well you're gonna defend, you're just gonna defend. And then the elephants, I don't know why I even brought them into the battle. Okay. I guess so they can soak immolation hits. Yeah, okay, they are coming for us. Oh, they're going for my, going for my leader. Disgusted. You are gaining experience, as you do. Uh, okay. Let's start by... Noxious Vulnerability, excellent. Now let's just take the kill. Yeah, you can... oh, you're gonna hit pretty hard. Okay, well, if you want to hit... if you want to hit that hard, you're gonna only get one hit, and you're going to... Um, you're gonna be... Flanking. Yeah, we'll protect... protect the leader. the immolation back. Ah, we're being silly. Okay, yeah, you take basically no damage. Your fire protection 80%, 20% physical protection. Yeah, why can't you be immolated? That would be the ideal situation, really. Uh, I guess... Yeah, you're not going to be able to get around. So if we go here... Uh, well, I was going to... 
fine. Okay, we do this. Get the animal slayer. Oh! I might just kill the helmet outright. You're close to a level. Yeah, that would be good. Alright, then the rest of this doesn't really matter, honestly. Um, okay. Oh, good. That's gonna be relatively damage. Light damage. Uh, flank the bear. That makes sense. Yeah, it's just one, one on the immolation. We need one more turn on combat healing, don't we? Yes, so I guess we're not doing it then. I mean, we have your healing. But what we really want to do then... Is heal you. And probably just hit with you and that'll be the end of the fight. Alright, uh, anything else that we want to do then? Uh, let's awaken spirit. Oh, um, I was silly. You had charm animal. You should have been. I should have been stealing one of the. Uh... I know the nightmare is immune, but we could have. We could have tried to steal a hellhound. Oops. Too bad. Get some money for it. Hey, guess what? It's your turn. Not much they could do there at all. Take the kill. So I am curious. If I move here, and then do this... Ah. I was afraid of that. So only my flyer actually attacks. You guys are in a really inconvenient spot. This is why I keep my hunters over the water, by the way. They're quite a bit more difficult to attack that way. I... My exploration hunters, I mean, specifically. Okay, well, I guess... I guess we're just gonna run up this way, then. Uh, can we get a stack onto the mountain? Unfortunately not, so I guess these are our three tiles. Uh, so in that case... Twenty-one, so that's, what, nine? No, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay, you have more than enough. I just want to take a peek in here. Oh, five matriarchs and a glutton. Nope, not anytime soon. Uh, you got the fairy, so we'll put you up ahead. Yeah, we don't actually want to attack that because that'll clear it and give them more mana. Yes, we can almost, almost pick up that money. Uh, you guys get another turn. Uh, also, I check something real quick. Now you're in the void. It won't. It doesn't say how long. We can go up to there. How far can you guys get? Only up to there. Okay, we'll move you first. Uh, this has been explored. This has been explored. Okay. Darn fairy. Hey, what do you got in here? Oh, you have rabbit burrows. The attack, three times dealing six physical damage and a chance to cast Misfortune. Random enemy unit each combat round. Right, and that's just because that's your um, that's your tower structure for the halflings. Iron grip, just make people happier. Yep, the rogue econ spell, surprisingly effective. Also, surprisingly mana intensive. Rogues require a ton of mana in order to keep the populace in line. Rogues aren't exactly the good guys. Okay, so we got. Brew brother, a bard, and a succubus here. 
Uh, you are... well, you're a support. Okay, actually, none of you are... Yeah, all three of you are supports, right? And I don't think rogues inherently get bonuses to support units, so... Because you get ir irregulars, mostly. Okay, well, I could move somebody onto the, the mine just to deny them the income for the turn, but that's a little bit petty and also a little bit risky, because then we'd be moving into... We'd be separating our army, which isn't something I really want to do. Okay, let's continue the exploration with you guys. Ever so slowly. Another decent city site here. That's uh, a gold mine, right? Yep, gold mine. Ring of life. Alright, oh, we actually got through a couple of turns here relatively fast. It's because we're not fighting neutrals. Fighting neutrals is what takes so much time. Uh, I guess if we get a full stack, we can go and clear that for the research, if nothing else. Uh, champion for High Elf, uh, okay, that's, uh, oh right, we should keep an eye on here. Lighting the Unity Beacon, two more turns, okay, that's fine. Spend a whole bunch of mana. Can you please move over land so I can kill you? Now you collapse into a single stack. doing stuff. Uh, that was... Oh! Sunburst. Okay. Wait, she's fighting neutrals in my line of sight? Cause oh, for concern. Well, you're, you're over top of the water. It's a pain. Alright, so we are slightly evil. Excellent. Fighting there. Uh, you suffer minus 100 to base happiness while the tower is being lit. Really? Oh, I see. Uh, that's that's fine. Whatever. Uh, affected by sunburst. Yeah, you squandered some mana to do that. It's a little bit annoying. Oh. Jerks. You're being sneaky. Okay. Quest available. Tell me more about the quest. You'll become a vassal and you'll give us two fairies if we kill a bone dragon. I mean, we can do it. Vassal proposal. Do we get, do we get good points for that? I don't know if we do. We'll accept. Change. Okay, we need to seek knowledge for a turn. Change. Let's get Druidry. Also, we got the observatory here. Alright, we lost the income from that. But now you're in range. Excellent. Are great swords armored? They are. Okay, that's cool. So now we can get the enchanted armory. Armored units get plus two defense and plus one resistance. Definitely want to do that. And then probably... Well, I mean, ideally we'll have a dark citadel here. This is... Man, the... This takes so long to build build up. I, I, could, use, I could use lower tier units. And usually I would, but I feel like... This has been a passive enough game that I haven't needed to, but now I'm at a point where I just need more units. Like, I lost this city because I didn't have defenders. Okay, so maybe... Maybe we'll go for greatswords then. Uh, oh, we've got some rogues up here. Ah, uh, that's fine. We can actually just... We can crush those. Uh, inventory... Okay. Uh, yeah, you did equip those. Yep. Okay, good. Oh yeah, and you got your boar. Sure. Ah, okay. That makes sense. Uh, you had too much stuff, right? Fire protection, probably more useful than urban concealment. 
honestly, so we'll just do that. Ah, uh, yes, that's fine. Hmm. Uh, it's not gonna put us over, but your your income is so bad that. Also, we, we just want to grow up and grab the fire eventually too. Ah, uh, okay. This is a this is a problem because we can't we can't attack because this army is too strong. We can't deal with you because you're over the water. We don't want to just abandon this city. I guess we'll go conquer the, the Tigrans here. We'll stay in this area. Uh, yes, so who's the slowest? It's going to be you with the ferry. Yeah, movement really matters. Uh, having high movement points is important. Taking a peek. It's not actually all that strong, to be honest, uh, aside from Shock Serpent. We would like to take out before it becomes elite, just because the stronger it gets, the more trouble we'll have dealing with it. And it's not that big a deal. And we could actually go further, give ourselves a little bit more. Well, uh, you have a lot of movement left. Let's just peek the city again. Let's see what's going on here. Not too much. Uh, you do have fertile domain in the city, making it grow faster. Again, it's, it's a problem with playing a summoner class, is that you're constantly wanting to produce units with your mana, which means that, ironically, the production-focused classes tend to cast more spells than the the magic-focused classes, because casting spells just lets you... Oh, did we clear this? No, we did not. But we will eventually, and that. Right, I was waiting on this because I wanted to clear these for some reason, but... Uh, are you fully healed now? Still not. I guess we'll wait one more turn. There's no swamp in the area, which is another issue. Yeah, because this army is actually really weak. Ah. Okay, well, you conquered that little town, which is annoying. We're going to conquer this town. And then I think we're actually going to ignore you. We're just going to go up here and try to take out your... your you're going to have to kill your leader again, because you probably respawned by now. You've, you have respawned, so a little bit of a problem, but also, do you have any invisible units here? No, but you do have another stack of, uh, frankly, weak, um, weak units there. Okay, we've, uh, it's occupied, so it's not producing income this turn. Yeah. Uh, oh, there's a little cave here, so we would we would be fighting this with just a single stack. I mean, we could probably take it out with just a single stack, and we will. Our fairy died. Honestly, that might actually help us out. Uh, the fairies are good, but they're so slow. That's something I'm just realizing. Okay. City awaits its fate. Well, we're going to migrate to orcs, because this will give us a ton of evil points and also make the orcs happier with us. Priorities. Evil for the sake of evil. Well, not quite. Okay, so we could just attack with this stack. I think we might be better off... Uh, ...throwing in... ...a few more units, though. The elders... They ...have some abilities, but... Uh, yeah, we'll take you out. Go here. Uh, I guess we'll use the Shock Serpent. Oh. 
Well, that that went poorly. Uh, let's let's watch this one. What happened? I mean, it wasn't a good position for us to take the fight. Oh, and you're casting spells. That's what it is. Okay. Oh, and you probably got lucky. That, that doesn't help. Really? You cast Killer Instinct on yourself? Ah. Uh. Yeah, we are so spread out here. And they've got a nice formation going. Okay, well, the Vengeful Frost worked out nicely there. Cast Dispel? Ah. Uh, wish there was a way to disable auto combat. Uh, certain spells. The spell was like the least useful thing to cast in that situation. Anyway, this is just um, it's just kind of silliness at this point. Still casting the spell. Like, no, it'd be get in here and use your your bow. Like, yeah, and it's also luck. Um, I didn't. That's the thing, you can't, you can't really account for luck. That was uh, AI incompetence right there. Well, we're gonna move you guys in there so you can all be together. Uh, we did level up though, uh, which is good. Uh, oh, call lightning for seven. Would be good. Sustainable warfare would be good. Regrowth would be good. Uh, so many things would be good. Uh, I think we're gonna take Call Lightning though. Just a uh, extreme range, 18 shock damage spell. There, you're gonna wait. Okay. Well, isn't that fun? Oh, do you not actually fly? Lesser flying. Okay. Yeah, that's right. You don't. You don't actually fly. Oh, got a Naga dwelling. Oh, a proper Naga dwelling. Like you actually own this thing. Conquered it. Okay, good to know. All right. Well, things are starting to get a little bit crazy, and honestly. Once we get a stack here, we'll, we'll head out. But we need to be—we need to be getting units. That's—that's that's the important thing. I've been spending way too much time building up structures so that I can build the best units instead of building lower tier units. And okay, yeah, building your tower. Of course you are. 
but we don't need to see that. I guess it would have notified us um, where on the map you were doing it. Oh dear. Well, so much for that army. I mean, we hit them pretty good. But yeah, that was... I mean, these were all, again, low-tier units, but... Oh, things are going poorly. Just lost two high-level heroes. It's fine, we'll get the Resurrect Hero spell eventually and deal with that. Uh, why did we... Oh no, we lost... Oh, that is frustrating. We're gonna... We suffered ha unhappiness because of the hero thing, and that cost us. It cost us the knowledge that's going to take an extra turn to produce now. I guess we're going to change the spell again. And, ah, uh, we really need those casting points, though. And also, it looks like we spent all of our casting points during the battle, so we didn't get any progress towards our Horned God. Intriguing. A message for me? Uh, okay, so actually, I changed my mind about. Where is it? Oh, it's it's not showing up in here. Okay, never mind. Oh, okay, sure. Oh, that's fine. You're actually at full health now. Uh, each weed finished the migration. It's a decent city, all things considered. So I should just start producing units instead of anything else then, right? Banefire would be useful against the Shadow Stalkers. And you do have a metal. Okay, so we'll produce an Orc Priest here. Uh, the Pillar of Stylites is done. The barracks going. Produce a Shaman, good, build another one. They're building units. Warhol's done. Good. Uh, War Riders, we can't quite one turn. Um, and again, we kind of wanted beetles here. Okay, we'll get the Riders all because we're doing cavalry regardless. Uh, oh, we don't have a stable of vigor yet. Uh, so this will level up cavalry by one rank, so we definitely want to do that. It slows us down again, but you know, get things things going. Oh. Two turns, two turns for the trebuchet. Ah. Uh, yeah, losing all that happiness really hurt. We'll get a hospital here. Now, the other thing is with this city, because the production is so good, we can build everything up quickly we we can actually like, we'll get the unity beacon tower here uh eventually well if we can when we can afford it i guess but we're also going to get oh i should have attacked the rogues last turn oh well um yeah we can um get the grand palace here which is going to require i guess we have a few more things to go temple great temple and observatory and then hospital. Once we build all four of those things, we can get a grand palace here, which will increase our casting points by ten. Uh, so again, I mean, it's not units, but the the one hundred happiness and also the additional growth, I guess, is always helpful too. But the uh, the one hundred happiness will put us up to cheerful again. So then we'll be able to one turn the trebuchets again. So it saves us time in the long run. Uh, you've grown. Okay, that's fine. You look good. 
Black was our capital where we wasted a turn seeking knowledge when we didn't need to. Okay, big beetles. Uh, time to just start producing some units, I guess. Well, I feel kind of silly now because we built we built the ability to build the big beetle here, and yet we had the ability to build shamans here this whole time. Which I guess we'll get some variety in our in our troop lineup. So we'll go big beetles in the capital and shamans in this city here, and that way we'll produce a fairly powerful force together. Uh, one more turn. Well, we want you to grow a lot. So... Uh, it's not a lot of population boost. You know what? Get a laboratory. More science. More research. Okay, and we need to change this uh, before I forget, because we only have, like, what, 14 knowledge left on that. Yeah. So we're going to... Trying to maximize our research gains here. I mean, I should probably just take this, honestly. Uh, favorite enemy? Could just finish Storm Magic. Yeah, I guess we'll just stick with. Uh, oh, stick with. Stick with Storm Magic, yeah. Okay. But uh, anyway, we need. Yeah, we need a lot more troops, and I guess it's too ambitious to attack with this. I mean, since we don't have anything here, uh, we can run these up. Well, <laughs> a spearman and a tiger. Yeah, that'll make all the difference. Um, once we get the horned god, it'll make a big difference as, as well. So, maybe. Do that, send you up. Uh, everything is just so slow. Reading this 70 gold. Save us a turn on this. No, we need we need to save the money though, so we can build units. Ugh. And I guess we could come back down here and clear this. Uh, anyway, I'll I'll figure out what I'm doing uh, in the next part. I will see you then.